Raising Vibrations community. Uh, welcome back to another video. And um, today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, the nature of Lucifer, the asteroid Lucifer. And um, hopefully just giving you a perspective of how I see this asteroid and uh, maybe breaking down some old patterns and conditionings around how this is promoted on the internet at this, at this stage. And uh, hopefully empowering you to actually uh, begin to integrate this um, this asteroid into your uh, astrology discoveries. And, and so therefore also empowering you a little bit more about what it's actually meaning. So um, the Lucifer asteroid can be found in astro.com and um, the asteroid's number is 1930, so 1930, okay? And you just type that in at the bottom of um, astro.com when it asks you to add asteroids, all right? It's a number there. So why, why am I talking about Lucifer and what is the reason for me actually sharing this information? Well, for me personally, I feel that it's really important for us to begin uh, breaking down and exploring these asteroids like Chiron, for instance, like Lilith, etc., and uh, Lucifer in a way that has been different to the past, okay? And the reason why I say that is because a lot of the Lucifer information, a lot of the information on the internet at the moment carries a lot of myth associated with it. And in true Lucifer way, in other words, for me, I have Lucifer in Aquarius in the first house, um, I want to break down the patternings and I want to uh, restore what I consider to be an authentic expression of Lucifer in your chart. So I've created a short little PDF or PowerPoint presentation for everybody where I'm just going to quickly go through the dynamics of what, consider, what is considered to be an, a, an understanding of Lucifer in its most authentic form, okay? This picture is a really, really cool experience for, for Lucifer, to be honest. It definitely carries this um, charred, you know, red imagery that is associated with hell and, and, the, and the devil, etc. And yet, ironically enough, it actually reflects to me the purity and the deeper meaning of what it actually means to be alive. And so the red can be easily interpreted as this, you know, this, this danger, the this sense of uh, war and, and stuff, which to a certain degree it actually is in terms of Lucifer itself. But it also reflects to me the nature of the veins and the blood that, that courses through our body and that what is the life force that is and does reflect the essence of being a human being. Okay. And so... I hope that that kind of like really begins to set you off on what it means to really get in touch with the Lucifer experience. It's like this, this, this asteroid in our consciousness that is charging us up for a direction that is going to be very deep and exploratory and yet comes with this territory of making us feel alive in a world that is heavily um, conditioned by uh, creating numbness. So the first slide you're looking at uh, is the Venus patterning. And uh, what I wanted to share with you here is that when you look at, when you try to understand uh, Lucifer in your astrology chart, it's very important for you to recognize the transit of Venus. Not only when Venus is natal in your astrology chart, but also as it transits around your astrology chart. Um, and so the reason why is because it creates this very beautiful pattern of a five-pointed star, right? Which you can see over there. And that's where, unfortunately, the Lucifer energy has got its bad name because it's this pentagram, right? There's the five-pointed star that it creates. Two, three, four, five. And why does it correlate to that? As you can see the pentagram there. Why does it correlate to that? Because it is a reflection of the body, right? We have the head, we have the arms spread out to the left and right, and the legs spread out to the left and right. And so Venus correlates to this groundedness, the sense of inner relationship that we have to ourselves. And we all come onto this earth and we basically um, need to come and figure out why we are here. And it's the Venus transit that connects us to the physical body. And then that physical body is the flesh, right? The body, the physical senses. And it's through the physical senses that emotions uh, move through us and we cleanse and purify the body. And uh, the Venus transit around the astrology chart actually reveals to us this karma. So when you look at this imagery over here, you're looking at the nature of the body. 
Now, in biblical terms, um, we got the cross and Jesus died on the cross. And the symbolic reference was that we all come onto this plane of existence through Saturn. And so Saturn is the other energy that we need to pay attention to when we're trying to interpret uh, Lucifer in our, in our chart, right? Why Saturn? Because Saturn is the cube, Saturn is the, 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 the cross, and Saturn is the, um, the incarnation that is the physical body, right? The flesh. And Venus is the inner relationship and inner and outer relationship to that flesh, okay? So Saturn is the structure, the conditioning that you have, and um, and then through that process, you begin to move your life and your life is based on your feelings and emotions and the discovery and the higher consciousness and the purification. So Venus and Saturn play a big role in understanding um, what Lucifer is about, okay? With, with Lucifer, I feel that there is this, and not I feel, I know that there is this archetypal myth about what Lucifer represents and what it's supposed to be there for, Saturn's myth and Venus's myth. And then there's this authentic expression of understanding the connection with all three of these energies, Venus, Saturn, and Lucifer, the asteroid. And you can see in this picture over here that one represents this connection to source and the other one is this very isolation, this very detachment, this abandonment process. Okay, and this is exactly what this is about. There's been a severing of the connection between the two and we've come to figure out what that severing's been about and that's what the belly button is about the connection the severing is the cutting of the umbilical cord so the archetypal myth as human beings have explored it has been through patriarchy and you know, over the last six thousand years we have lived through this archetypal incarnation where the masculine form has been the predominant expression of our exploration of consciousness and so because of that, we've developed and over, we've overstimulated the mental facilities and we live in this mental plane. And because we live in the mental plane and the mind being the nature of what it is, it's in duality, right? There's the leftist and the rightness, or there's the on-off. So what happens here is that we've created boundaries in our consciousness and these boundaries have basically separated us from the body. And the archetypal myth through religion and through hierarchy is to separate the body, your awareness, um, and separate the flesh from your spirit. And so we have this detachedness on this plane right now on earth where we feel deeply in experiences and yet we have to create this um, skeleton, uh, the this, this shielding around us that protects us from the vulnerabilities of life, right? So everything is coming to get us, we're vulnerable, we're victims to everything. And what happens is we create this armor and this armor then becomes the way that we basically protect ourselves, right? But it's shielded and it's barrier consciousness, borders. And so the myth through the, the law coming from God itself has come from the pharaohs down into the people that are down here. And what happens here is that we have this, this, in, this incarnation of God is outside of ourselves. He is an almighty being and that this almighty being is here to protect us and save us. And so what happens is that we externalize our uh, awareness, we externalize our security, and we externalize our power, and we place it in something existential. When we place it existentially, we then create the duality within ourselves of our own inner knowing and an external knowing, which creates a crisis. And so this is why Lucifer in your astrology chart will show up as doubt, as uh, confusion, as separation, as evil. And basically what will happen here is, is that because of the separateness, we become victimized by experiences and we begin to then shield up and defend ourselves. And because of this process, we never actually follow what is right for us or honor our emotional reality because we're so caught up in the duality that we're not actually realizing what's really occurring for us, that everything's holistic and there is no separation. So the Lucifer myth has been created as evil because the morning star, which is associated with Venus, is rising and Venus's transits are basically here to awaken our inner sense of meaningless, like what finding God within. But when we externalize it through the conditioning patterns of Saturn and the externalization of our authority, we can't basically honor our own like spiritual needs because we're just following this mind constructed world. All right. 
And so that's why when you look at things like the matrix, for instance, it says, I'm trying to free your mind, but you can only show you the door. You've got to, you're the one that has to walk through it. And that's what's basically Morpheus is trying to say is that the process of the mind has been so evolved within our last 6,000 years that our detachment and separation from nature has caused us to not actually understand what the body is for. So we, we treat our cars with more respect than we treat our bodies. We, so Bart Simpsons over here reflects this. I will not obey the voices in my head experience because those are the voices that are saying, do this, do that. Even though your body might not actually be like really ready for that, right? You're not in synchronicity, you're in lists. And this is why we have stress. This is why we have time and so on and so forth. Now, the, the, the point of this, this video to highlight to everybody is, is that as our consciousness is readjusting ourselves and changing and we're letting go of old patterning and getting in touch with the body and realizing the divine feminine's rising, we're also recognizing that the process of us at this point in time is becoming sovereign. And by becoming sovereign, you're connecting back with the Lucifer in your chart. So comically speaking, every single one of us has Lucifer somewhere. And that Lucifer ties in with your karma. That is where you find your authentic authority. That is where you've come to challenge the status quo and break down the norms and be Uranian and to basically figure out what it means to be you. What we have is this balanced left and right brain. So we have critical thinking, critical thinking on our own internal impulses, not external authorities. So the next time you read an article, don't just believe it gullibly, just go, okay, well, this is interesting information. Where did the people get this information from? Who could possibly be influencing it? Is it biased, etc.? An objective process, left brain. And then the right brain is where you feel into the experience. Well, does this feel right to me? Do I resonate with this process? And it's that process of judging it with this balanced left and right brain that will give you the capacity to navigate your way through this age of information in a way that is helping you be balanced and holistic, right? So it's the sun, meaning the father, the moon, meaning the reflective consciousness, so masculine, feminine, and then earth being the third entity, your body. That's what you incarnated with. And when you create that, you create this third this third um, entity over here, which is the realization of why you are here, right? That is what Lucifer is doing. It's the process of um, not externalizing your authority and then getting in touch with the feminine part of your senses and honoring that as an equal expression. That's authentic. So spirit and flesh are not antagonistic anymore. When right. you look at um, the nature of asteroids in your astrology chart, and in particular in this discussion with Lucifer, we are looking to understand where we externalize our sense of authority, where that conditioning exists, and where we don't trust ourselves enough, where we doubt ourselves, and where we basically surrender our sense of inner knowingness about what is authentic for us uh, to remain passive in our ability to question stuff that is not correct. And that's what Lucifer is about. It's questioning it and saying, look, I don't agree with this thing over here. And the reason why I'm not agreeing with it is because it doesn't feel right. And I'd like more depth, uh, critical thinking around this process. And what you get is this, this idea around Adam being the person that is interacting with Eve. And Adam is saying, we have this heavenly father that has these rules and we abide those rules. In other words, I'm going to be passive and I'm going to allow and dictate an external authority to give me instructions on how to be. Whereas Lucifer is saying, okay, well, I enjoy these instructions. I'll take a look at them and I'll tell you how I feel. And then I'll get back to you. You see the difference in the way that one's relating to these consciousnesses. And so that's what Lucifer will show you in your chart where you are doubt yourself. And yet where you have this capacity to really, really be the bearer of light for your own consciousness. Okay. All right, guys. Well, if you want um, to watch a, a, a really, really in-depth video version of what I've discussed right now, if you want to really go deep into this process, um, I've created one and you can actually purchase that. Uh, and that is available in, in the description. There's a link where you can go and purchase that video. It's, it's about 45 minutes long where I really go deep into some of the stuff here for you. And um, if you would like to then also participate in a Lucifer workshop that I will be hosting as well, then you can go ahead and book that as well. And what I'm going to be doing in that uh, workshop is 
you've already watched the video and then you're going to come to me and we're going to basically look at your charts. You're going to share with me how this has been operating. And then I'm going to try and listen to where I can see the Lucifer energy and pinpoint that for you and just kind of like help you integrate um, that Lucifer authentically within your own chart as well. So it's a really cool way because I'm, I'm changing the way that I do my workshops right now. And it's going to be more focused on you sharing with me what is what is available for you and then uh, um, me kind of like just being there to kind of guide you along that process. So if you would like to actually participate in that, um, part of the video uh, will have the links to, to book that type of stuff. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I'm interested to hear your comments in the, the, the below, the, like your thoughts in the comments below. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.